Hello and welcome to this demo. Uh, so SSRS 2008 R2 provides us a lot of visualization tools. It provides us a lot of charts, graphs, and you know, if, if you look at the toolbox, you, you find a lot of other things like data bars, park lines, and so on and so forth. So it basically allows us to represent huge volumes of data in a, you know, like a visual manner, like a chart or a pie chart or a graph or a, you know, that kind of stuff. Along with that, you also see there is an option called as map. So it allows us to represent geographical data in the form of a map. Um, we will take this in a separate tutorial where we discuss what are S3 files and um, you know how to create layers in a map, how to embed data data in a particular map, and so on and so forth. Um, in this tutorial, what we are going to look is how to um, you know get get some data set and then represent the data in the form of a graph or a chart or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new report. I'm going to say new item and I'll call this as graphs. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to create the same data set which I created for my matrix report. So we have some data to work with. All right. So we'll go to graphs. First of all, create a connection string. Okay, and then I am going to create a new data set. I'll make sure I remove the where clause because I don't need any parameters over here. All right, so I have some data to work with. So, so far we have seen that we have dragged and dropped a table control, a matrix control, and you know, so on and so forth. But what we are going to do over here is we are going to drag and drop a chart control. So as soon as we do that, you see that you get a pop-up which asks you that which shape do you need. And then you see there are a lot of graphs for us. We have, there are column charts, line charts, shapes, bars, area, and so on and so forth. So, you know, um, I would really encourage you to explore more on this one, maybe try out different shapes. Um, for this tutorial, let's take something very simple, like maybe, maybe the first one. So as soon as you click on OK, you see that there is kind of like a structure of the graph represented over here. And this is what we need to configure. Now, just to give you a heads up, everything over here is totally configurable. Like you could really change the title to have something like my first graph. You could actually write an expression for this one. You can totally control the legends, totally control the colors. You can make the colors dynamic and so on and so forth. So what we will do is let's go back to our report data and let's, um, okay. So we are going to use the country region code in our X axis and let's have the year, let's see. Oops. Let's see what makes sense over here in the series. Let's have the year and in the totals, let's have total due. Let's see how this looks like. Okay, we have some, some interesting graph which basically shows you the country region code and for 2002, there is basically a legend created for you. The sales was around 25 million or more than 25 million and so on and so forth. Let's let's just make this a little bit bigger so that we can see more clearly. Let's hit preview. Okay, this this looks somewhat nice. Um, but again, now you know you would need this to be represented in a different format. So you know you could you could really have um, a currency representation of this one and then kind of. Um, let's see let's actually hit preview so okay so yeah so this is totally dynamic and then you know you could really write expressions change colors or you know what do whatever you want um i would i would recommend you should be exploring um you know the other tools also um the pie charts and stuff like that but 
essentially the, the, the concept remains the same that you need to define three things. One is x-axis, y-axis and what goes inside the graph. And um, REST SSRS takes care of the remaining things. So that's all about visualization and how to embed graphs and stuff into your reports. Thanks for watching.